Emery, Emery Doucette. I was born and raised in Mattawa, Ontario. After completing school, I went and sailed the Great Lakes for three years. And then I was in Quebec City, so I went to the Citadel and joined the Royal 22nd Regiment, which is known as the Van Dues. I did my basic training at Valcartier, Quebec. After completing that, I was sent to Fort Lewis, Washington, where I took a radio and linesman course. And after completing that, I uh, sailed from Seattle to Japan, where I did more training in uh, Haramura, Curie, and Sasebo. After completing that, I was shipped to Korea, where I served 13 months in the hills of Korea, fighting the North Koreans. In September of 1951, I was supposed to go out on some patrol. Young Pichet, another radio operator, took my place because I was too sick and he was killed. I think, I think him every day. And I had a lot of nightmares for many years. Same nightmare, same bunch of guys I was with in Korea. I was only I was only nineteen, so I was a young fella, you know. We lost five hundred and sixteen in Korea, all Canadians. Being a, a radio operator and the linesman back then we didn't have cell phones like they have today or the the outfit they have today. One time we were out and uh, the line broke and that day I had to crawl out through the rice paddies on my belly. And then while I was there, the shells started falling all around me. And I was really scared. And I cried like a baby. But I made it out. Another one that was running down one of the mountains and I hit a trip wire and I blew the, the flare up. Boy, the bullets were flying all around the place. Almost got it that night. I'm a Catholic and I was given a little Bible or a little prayer book and I carried that all through Korea with me and all through the 30 years on the police force and but I still have it. The worst thing I think is is when young Pichet went out there for me that night. I couldn't make it. I was sicker than the dog. And he went out and he got blown up that night. Uh, we trained together. We trained together at Valcarci. We trained together in Washington and Japan. September 1951. I got back to Canada, like I say, and I became a crane operator. And then uh, I found that too boring. So then I joined the police force and I served 30 years as a policeman. And now I'm retired. I've been retired. I'm on my 27 and a half year retirement. And now I'm settled down in Seasons in Welland, which I love very much. <laughs> <laughs>